All right, what's up, Connor? Not much. All right, you ready, man? Minutes ago. Gee. What time is it for you? Um, 11:30 a.m. All right, all right, all right. Um, I'm, I'm gonna slide you over. Everybody, chat, give it up for uh, give it up for Connor Jones. We got we got him in the house. What's up, chat? Woo! It's so cool to be able hey, to like me. put a face to the name. You know what I mean? And you know what's right, crazy, yeah. Connor, is my best friend growing up, one of my best friends growing up, Radical, you know, you know Crondor. So I don't know, the Crondors popped in. Literally his name is Connor Jones. So is Connor Jones your oh, really? uh, your first and last name? Yeah. No That's way! Funny. Yeah. That's so <laughs> insane. That's so insane. Yeah, I'm like my, my best friend growing up was Connor Jones. No, you guys actually talked. He he came in and he's like, hey, that's a nice name. Do you remember that? Oh wait, what was his name again? In the stream? The, the the Crondor. He's got oh. his like a uh, he's got his little bird emotes. That's so funny. Yeah. That's hilarious. Um, dude, so so what <laughs> that's his little uh sub sound. So what we're doing today, guys, is uh, so I actually didn't see it, but Connor had submitted this um, this request to like go over his website and his stuff. Yo, what's up, Ultra? To go over his website and stuff and to give him some good feedback and maybe maybe a little critique and stuff, maybe some things to work on. So um, so Connor, it's okay if chat chimes in and puts oh, in a little yeah. bit of the little bit of their. Uh, their stuff so chat as we as we talk and stuff and things come up
equivalent f 2.8 that those that, are the two i shot the wedding on You bought that last year? Yes. May okay. of last year. And then that's when you said, like, this is something that you want to pursue. Well, I knew I wanted to do it. What's up, Nicholas? Since yeah. Since 2012. Like, that's... I would have told you, if you would have asked me in 2012... How old were you in 2012? I was 11 years old. Shoots, Pawan. Okay. 11 years old. Wow. Yeah, so if you would have asked me back then what I wanted to do, I would have told you I wanted to be a director. Yeah, that's changed a little bit now. I think I want to be a cinematographer. That's sick. It's the same kind of. Dude, 2012 is when I bought my first camera, and I was um, how old was I? I was 21 or 22. That's awesome. Yeah, and I was I was working at Sears. Do you know you know Sears? Oh yeah, we just got rid of ours. That's near mine. No, yeah. <laughs> got rid of yours. I think yeah, <laughs> we still have ours just because it. I guess it does good business out here for some reason. All it's all the Filipinos buying clothes. Um, but yeah. man, back in the day, we'd have a, we had a big electronic section, and uh, and now okay. that section's been like reduced down to an aisle. It was it was crazy, dude. I think I still <laughs> um, I think I hold the record at the store here on Maui for like having the biggest single sale, guys. A guy that worked at one of the hotels here on the island came in at like literally like in a half like a half hour before I was closing down, and I had like the worst attitude when he walked in, and I'm like, ah, oh, dude, I'm I'm trying to close down, trying to get done with work, and then here's this guy coming in, and so I start talking to him, and he's just like, so how much how much would it be for if I if I wanted to order a couple TVs, and I'm thinking a couple TVs, thinking like two or three. Ends, ends ends up 
buying 150 TVs and 150 what? TV mounts. Um, and it was for a hotel. And uh, oh my gosh, okay. I forget. I, I think I still have the receipts, but the I think the total transaction came close to 100K. <laughs> it was insane. nuts, dude. <laughs> I, ha I had to talk to my manager about it, and my manager's like, okay keep it on the down low don't tell any of your co-workers about it until until the guy shows up with his checks and he had cut three checks he cut the payment in three checks and it was nuts dude it was nuts that check was awesome but yeah we had we had a camera section and uh that's when i bought my first nikon camera okay um and yeah there's some kid who like i guess died there and so they dang dude down. what yeah. that's creepy yeah so are there are there like ghost stories about the place <laughs> i don't know i've never heard them but okay they're probably they're, it's probably haunted for all i know all right all right so we will we will um we will check out your website and then um actually yeah, we'll check out your website and then just kind of cruise through it and then we'll check out your video that you just dropped and you just added this yeah oh, okay. yeah i put that up there okay. yesterday i finished I, it i kind of refrained yeah. from um watching it because i wanted to give like my okay. very first impression on stream i watched like a tiny right. sliver of it and then i saw that this was the one that you posted up so cool all right all right yeah that's my first real film that i've done for money nice nice okay so um this is your logo that you created yeah i had it done nice. for me on fiverr oh nice good yeah yeah fiverr's hit and miss me. but my experience on fiverr is i've liked the work i've liked the work more than i've hated my experience you know and uh right. you just gotta like spend a lot of time looking for the right artist or you know yeah you know you gotta peruse the reviews but now nah, this is solid so you know when i come on your website it's uh very clear that you know you're at least interested in storytelling right share your vision right. your name you do video and photo that's great um if it's job worth doing it's worth doing right so this is like your quote that you live by or what i don't know I, I probably shouldn't admit this, but I'm gonna admit it. I've I heard that from someone somewhere during my okay. life, and it stuck with me. I have no idea where it came from. It's all good. That happens. But I like it a lot, so it's there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's good that you like it, um, and you put it there. And then um, Connor Jones is a cinematographer, photographer based. Okay, good. And then you got some some work, some preview of right. of work. Um, yeah, previously that video was a motion graphics kind uh -huh. of advertisement I made for myself. So you can check, so I can send you the links to those if you want to check those out as well. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I can definitely do that. And then you have your services down here of like what you do. Really clear and concise um, with the asterisk. If you service uh, does not appear on these lists, email to see if your stuff can be arranged and contact on the sheet. So. Um, 
so yeah I'm, I'm sure you've done a lot of research into website you know um building and stuff did you build your own or is this like a website maker it's a it's from squarespace yeah okay yeah though so square my only yeah, yeah go ahead. my only uh issue with my website is i would at least the home page i wish i could like zoom out on it a little bit because i feel like that whole the the picture behind there is something i took in pittsburgh um, mm-hmm. which I think is kind of cool, but yeah, I, I wish I could like shrink it down if that makes any sense. So like, you don't have to scroll so much. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, I, I don't but if I, if I look it up on mobile, it's going to be a lot different experience. Right. Right. Because, because more than I think, I think the, um, I think the stats have changed and I feel like it's more than it's more. The last time I checked, it was more than 70% of uh you know clients or people who look at your website is gonna be on mobile and you can see that on your squarespace like right. <clears throat> when i had squarespace so with like analytics that's what it would always tell me now now that i look at it with um google analytics it just tells me all the time that the main consumers are mobile consumers and so um when i use squarespace um that's kind of what i tried to arrange my website and build it out towards it's like, how is it going to look on my mobile phone? So I get a different experience. It's not, it's not so much a, a bad thing when I'm when I'm on mobile. Just a couple swipes and I'm already at the bottom of your website. Um, cool. So that's a cool thing, you know. And then, you know, your your services, you know, it's a little mixed up. It doesn't look like what it's on the website, but it's good enough. So um, yeah. So that's the whole thing, man. We're we're used to consuming content like endlessly, like Instagram and TikTok, and just constantly. Like, so right. that's you know that's fine. And then you clearly have a menu button, which meant what uh, Squarespace does well. That brings you to a gallery and contact. And so um, let's go to the gallery. All right. So we're in one your gallery thing, now. Was that right? Um, one thing that I was actually talking about this with uh, Mesmer's. I was. Mm-hmm um just hanging out on his stream and we were talking about he looked at my website as well nice um one thing that we kind of noticed and um i'm assuming you were going to point this out so um all my photos and when i'm like posing my friends we uh, the go-to thing is always look away from the camera as you can tell and i want to get away from that like very badly so me and my friend who you can see 500 times on this page are going to go out again soon and I'm gonna to try to take some more of him looking into the camera. I know it's kind of a subtle thing, but all of them are them looking away from the camera, which is fine, but I really overdid it because it's every single one of my pictures. Yeah, yeah. And well, that's the thing too. It's 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 that, but then it's also, um, that's like all you have. And so who else, who else do you have to shoot? Right, so he's really my only friend that enjoys Take, getting his photos taken and helping me so that's yeah. kind of where i'm at um i have another friend he's right there um yeah that was okay with it and uh, there's a couple more that i could try to get to come yeah. out but uh and then this family yeah. here is this like a family friend or a friend of the family yeah so yeah they're a family friend okay um i mean the images came out really nice and crisp and clear and just vivid which is a good job. Did you use uh, off-camera flash for this? No, I didn't. That's I didn't have that's one. quite amazing. So that's um, why we were in the woods. So it was nice and shaded. I made him go into the woods. Yeah, and you have that nice, uh, you know, diffuse light already. Um, right. It's good. So like, I like this shot a lot. Going yeah, through the one leaves I and stuff like that turned out awesome. so well. I didn't even like. I tried to put some leaves in front of them, but it just worked out so that it was kind of like a like a circle around them i really like that photo yeah um so let me um open up this other tab here and i'm gonna scroll down to your services and so um so little by little you're getting experience and you're getting exposure to all of these things so um have you done senior pictures um yeah i guess technically headshots um no not really 
you done a wedding? Or have you yes. done photos of a wedding? I have not been the photographer, no. Okay. And then engagements? Have you done an engagement shoot? I will be soon because my brother just got engaged. Okay, sweet. Fashion. Have you done a fashion photo shoot? I guess so. That's kind of what I quantify me and my my one friend who's in all my pictures because he likes having a nice outfit. But that's okay. kind of what I view those as. Sports? No. And real estate? I'm working on that one. Okay, and then videography, you've done wedding. Oh, of course, we're gonna look, we're gonna watch the wedding video. Um, right. produ product and promotional, have you done? Um, not in the the physical product sense. Like I said, I did my motion graphics, but I don't think you really count that. Okay, I have you done digital platform product. promotional? That would be my motion graphics. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then you've done business commercial? No. PSA? Nope. Real estate? No. Okay. Short film. And then sh short films, yeah. Okay, cool. So this is, is this what you want though? This is the kind of work that you're gunning for? Right. Just kind of like, like even narrow that down. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, so my thing is, is um, I would say like, I'm, I'm sure you're very aware of this is like uh, definitely less is more so like for for me if i was coming to your website and i saw that you did photo and video um and i saw all these services down here like the thing is is like if i see that you're a photographer for hire then i can acquire about anything um but if you haven't done the work and i can't see it then it's kind of like like i wish i could see it you know i'm not saying like don't put these on here, but what I'm saying is like, let your work speak for yourself. And so right. what I would do is, um, one thing I don't see is an about me page. And so all I see is a name. And the thing about like customers, like in my experience is that, uh, they're, they're just consumers, right? The, for the most part, a lot of people aren't ready to dive in to um they just want to know they want to see the information and they want to see you and so i would throw an about me page up if you can with your photo okay. like a, like a good photo like when you go out again with your friend have your friend take a shot of you it doesn't have to be corny or anything just take a real nice candid shot of you what's up mikey impoverished and then put an about me page and just share a blurb about you, like your location, um, what you like to shoot, your story. Doesn't have to be super long, but enough. And then to say, put some of these things in there, like about like what your goals are and like what you want to do. Um, because, because I mean, looking through your gallery, like I don't, I don't see real estate. I don't see sports. I don't see fashion and stuff like that. And so, um, that's kind of like a redundant, like, I don't, I don't need to, I don't really need to see it. I just, I'm, I'm just looking at your work, which I think having your, having this video, which I'm, well, I don't have, I have expe expectations, not like too much pressure, but like, I'm already thinking like this guy knows what he's doing. It looks great. Um, oh boy. <laughs> to me, these photos are completely random. I don't, I don't know what they're for. You know what I mean? So like, okay. so, so what I would do is like in your gallery, um, title like what it was for you know what i mean like was this was this like a was this like a sunday afternoon cookout with your family and you're like hey let's take some photos or was this like a paid shoot you know what i mean okay and and then right. and then that takes it up to where like you're not just connor jones who's just like throwing up photos that hold us here on stream that you are a storyteller yes yeah. So here's my thing. I would suggest, highly suggest you start a blog. Okay. And you start a blog and maybe even take your gallery down and throw these images into blogs and write about your experience or what was the purpose behind these shots? Because the blog is going to do a couple things for you. It's, it's still going to show your images. Okay, like I, I used the Squarespace blog for a while. It's really good. 
it's it's cool that you can wrap text around it you can throw a gallery in there um you know you can highlight certain photos that stuck out so you have your blog it's still going to show off your photos but then you have the chance as a storyteller to talk about the shoot to talk about like what went on during this even if the blog is short you let your photo speak for itself right you're not a writer you're a photographer videographer so let your let your work speak for itself put your video in a blog and say um, talk about your experience with the wedding and even though you do videography when you're out shooting a wedding take a couple shots take a couple shots for yourself right so that you can show like behind the scenes kinds of things of the of the day and then your video is the main content for it so like you can replace this with blog that way all these pictures on your website have a have a home have a place to live have a have a story behind it what's up flo and then your customers or potential people that stop by your photos are going to have something to read and enjoy you know and if they're a potential right. customer one of the big things that's that's missing is your price and i know like you have your contact on here and your con your con your your customer is going to contact you for it but if you take that extra step and put at put in at least or like a minimum kind of like my hourly starts at a hundred dollars an hour for a photo shoot or like for videography, I don't know. I've never charged for videography. So like 50 bucks an hour or something like that. 50 bucks an hour for videography, like some baseline. Then people see where you're at, see how much you'll cost. And then that way, when they reach out to you, you know, they've already seen your prices. So they're somewhat serious about it. You know what I mean? Um, right. So, I mean, I'm just speaking from my experience as someone who's gotten married and we had to look for a photographer and I can't tell you how many websites we passed up and photographers we passed up because we had to email them for a price list. So we had to email them for something. And it was like just a small step really? that deterred us because we wanted it now. You know what I mean? Like we wanted the price now. We're budgeting now. Uh, what's up Phoenix Rose and her Raiders? What's going on? Welcome to the Light Den Academy. Um, we're just checking out a website and doing a little portfolio review um, for our friend Connor Jones here. So welcome, welcome. I hope that you guys enjoy your time with us today. And uh, thank you so much, Phoenix Rose, for the two months. Chin. So awesome. Um, okay, so how are you, how are you doing, uh, Connor? Is this, is this okay? Yeah, 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 this is good. I'm okay, good. cool, cool. Cool, cause like, uh, yeah, I mean, just coming on your space, your space. I see the wedding photo, and that's the thing too. Like, I don't even know what this kind of video is. Like, if you put like wedding or something like that, like, uh, like uh, Ali and Curtis wedding date. That way, you kind of have more context. Putting context to everything, like you're almost, you're almost there. Like, you've got a lot already. It's just like the little details that you just got to keep tuning in. You know what I mean? right um yeah. so so blog and then um either you put the pricing in your con in your contact or you put you just change this to pricing or something and then in the pricing you have contact so like home right. blog pricing about me so that people people can uh see you and meet you all right phoenix Thank you so much. I hope you had a great stream and I appreciate it. Have a great breakfast or lunch or dinner, wherever you are. I think it's dinner. Yeah, it's five o'clock in London. Okay. Um, because like on my website, I have a spot where it says portfolio just because I shoot different things. Um, so like, you know, business, weddings, and then videography. So it's like a spot to like generalize things, but I have a lot of work that I can put it in. For you starting right. out, I would do a blog because it's going to help. <laughs> I'm not the expert on SEO, but it's going to help at least with that, with SEO, right. getting content yeah, really out there and, and stuff like that. And then you have your pictures, make sure your make sure your files are um, named, you know, just the, right. the descriptive yeah. and stuff like that. And you'll you'll be able to do that. And then um, make sure you get a base pricing out there. And uh, don't worry about the pricing. I mean, if you're not 
do you have a do you have a list or how much how much did you charge for your wedding video um for that wedding since it was my first one i charged 300 dollars. good and good good that was i was even like i told her yeah yeah okay and and if you have access to it i mean access to those clients and stuff definitely but um one thing too is that like once you get going with with work and once you start booking once you get going with work i have a feeling that you're gonna fall into a certain type of work a lot more than something else because imagine having a full workload but trying to juggle all these different types right of Definitely. things yeah you know and so um you know that's one thing to pay attention to as you go along is is you're gonna look at that and then you're gonna look at like what what you enjoy the most shooting you know what i mean because shooting right, real yeah. estate and shooting a uh, fashion photo is gonna give you way different atmospheres and environments and experiences to work in and so you're gonna be able to nail that down for you mark vincent thank you so much for the sub i appreciate that thank you so much for the two months Gee. awesome okay so i'm excited dude i'm excited because um I'm excited to see your storytelling side. And have you All ever right. done a blog before? No. Okay. I never have. So uh, you can look online. You can find some pointers. Don't uh, don't uh, don't worry. Don't 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 stress yourself out too much. Because sometimes I find myself at the computer like, what the heck am I gonna write? But the cool thing is, is once you start writing and like you said you're uh dude thank you so much base hindu for gifting uh connor a sub hey, hey. <laughs> welcome to the fam connor live on stream <laughs> i'm even here for it let's go but uh the, the blogging is going to help you practice your storytelling and it's going to help right, you practice yeah. your cinematography and uh and so to shoot and you still have the the ability to like go out with a mask and shoot and stuff um here's what i would have done be a cool idea because um like yeah. the kitchen the kitchen just closed down it's 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 been a cornerstone here in maui for 20 years as a local food place and they were doing that the boss uh i, I know the boss a little bit she she's always on instagram heavy with her um with her restaurant she was you know they were desperate trying to say we're open blah 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 and uh if you could take that off her hands or you could take that responsibility off like the owner's um the owner's uh you know responsibilities and you could just create the content for them and then imagine their business peaks or their business picks up imagine the restaurants opening and they start operating at full capacity and you've been doing such a good job with their content and now what are they going to do with you they're either going to continue to hire you now because they can afford it or it was just a good experience for you. And you, now you have a bunch of work that you can show on your website of what you've done. And then it shows you, and then it shows you, bro, that that to customers that, that you have a heart for your community and for businesses around you. And so I was just thinking about this yesterday and I'm like, oh man, like if I had the time and stuff, I would, I mean, I could still do it. Honestly, I could still do it. I would love to do it, but I don't know. I feel like that was kind of the same same lines that you were thinking of or what? yeah i mean you just like talking about that there's uh like i like i said i was talking to a couple small yeah totally mason brian totally and um 
I was talking about doing it for free for them and maybe like tr they charging like a tiny bit for it because the one I was talking to looked or they were based a little bit far away. But um, yeah, yeah, and, and kind of structuring it as like a free thing. That's really smart. And to be honest, I'll probably message a couple of places today. Yeah, but do that. Do that, one please. Thing, uh, the one thing maybe some people in chat could relate to but that is a problem I struggle with is where I live is a pretty rural area. Like I'm right in between Pittsburgh and Cleveland. Um, if you've heard of Youngstown, that's pretty much where I live, but not quite in there. But I live in a pretty rural area and it's kind of hard to find small businesses mm. that value social media content. <laughs> there are some, but there's not a ton. So for me to be able to do something like that, I would probably have to either get lucky with the business around me or contact a business that's maybe in a city an hour away, which I'm willing to do that. There's no issue with that. But like it is like a, just something I kind of wanted to like talk about because yeah, if there's people in chat who have the same thing, it's like you have something you can do about it. You got to you just got to. Yeah. Hey, try it. Jim on Instagram. <clears throat> As chat gets their answers ready, I'll just throw my two cents in there. So, um, <clears throat> in the rural area, the rural area that you're in, basically it's like mom and pop shops. Right. Um, I Demi, mean, do you have knowledge of social media and stuff? I feel like you're pretty savvy, right? Me? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, have you thought about like perhaps like for those mom and pop shops that don't have Instagram and stuff like that, that maybe you can create them a profile and like run it for them? Right. Yeah, I that mean, was something I thought about as well. That's like um, my, my little two cents is the, the thing is, is technology is moving forward. And if those mom and pop shops don't get on it, they're going to lose out on business. And so that's the upside. Right. And plus, if they're getting you for free to do this for a bit while while you stay busy and for your experience, then you can do it. The thing is, you don't want to screw yourself over on the long term where like they get used to you right. doing it for free and then you charge. And so you really got to like work on that contract or work on that like agreement between the party. Um, but I would start with like a business that you know or they know you or it's like a friend of the family or something like that. And then, and then you have experience and then you have results that you can present to the next business owner. Um, Mace Hindu, if you can, you can look up new small businesses in your area, repair shops, food places, trucks, whatever businesses in the area. Brian, I used to live in rural areas. Small towns love community. Use that to your advantage. If you're local, they're going to want to help you as well. Establish relationships. It's good stuff. Are you a shy person, Connor? Mm -hmm. Um, no, not really. No, not really. I wouldn't cool. say so. I'm not like super outgoing, but uh, I'm not shy. I like talking to people. Okay, so you'll have no problem introducing yourself to a business owner and. Oh, you know. no, no, no. I've done that a couple of times. Sweet. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I'm trying I'm, to think I'm like. I'm probably going to do that today. Reaching out that's, to them. That's and good. Kind of framing it as like a COVID 19 kind of deal. Yeah, and, and keep us updated too. In, in the Discord and stuff, we'd oh, yeah. love to see. Um, one one person, um, he, he's a mod here. He's He's been busy IRL, so he's kind of been MIA, but um, Rath, he, uh, he's from Belgium. And that was kind of the same question he asked me. Um, he was wondering like how to get started with local businesses and stuff. We kind of had a similar, we had a similar conversation. And um, he had, a, he had he was wondering about like business and stuff and i was like dude your mom your mom probably cooks really well why don't you stage a shoot with your mom in the kitchen and get her prepping food and and take really nice stylized stuff if you have connor if you have like a nice countertop or like it, raf took pictures on his floor he used his floor because it was like a nice slate looking thing and uh yeah. and he stylized the shoot and he showed me the pictures and i was like dude this is so good and he made even like a little video edit and that's what he used and he took the businesses and he got a job with a, a local business the Pel pelican storage cases i don't know if you've heard of that spot thing but yeah, what uh, the heck? they they hired him on and then his shots for the pelican cases were f were so good and they they paid him like oh, awesome. uh i think like 300 euros and then they brought him back when he got his drone and now he has that relationship with it. I was like, dude, yeah.
yes it's so good Ralph and so awesome. that could be a thing too man is like maybe your mom cooks well your dad and be like hey can I can I stage a shoot with you guys cook your best dish and uh, let me do some photos and here's the thing you're either gonna like it and you'll kill it or you'll find that it's really hard and you're gonna hate it and it sucks and then you have one thing to scratch off your list that you don't want to shoot you know right <laughs> yeah, and I I think the the word for that is uh, that yes, Albert. Like, I did. Uh huh. So like, I know I was watching. There's this guy on YouTube I watch called Danny Gewurz. I don't know. He's like a filmmaker. I don't know if anyone in chat has watched him, but um, he made uh, when he started some spec work for uh, um, like he him and him and his friends they had like a Jeep and they just made like a fake Jeep commercial. Yeah. Put it on his website. And that kind of stuff, I feel like, is, like, so valuable that uh -huh. like, I should probably start doing. Uh, but, yeah. Um, sorry, I, I – say that one more time. I was watching say the screen. Time. Oh, no, he he was just saying, like, he went out with his friends, and he, uh, he shot some spec work, and he shot a fake car commercial. Not fake. Oh, it was car okay, commercial, okay. But he wasn't paid to do it. He just did it with his friends and then put it on his website. And then he said, like, he got a couple clients – who wanted that kind of work that's dope that's sick yeah so um, it, it works yeah it, it definitely does i'm excited man i'm excited to see uh the type of people that you reach out to and and if they bite you know because yeah uh, man so. right right now i mean people are hurting and they can use all the help they can get and so this is definitely one of those times right. where you're either gonna stay indoors that's the thing bro you're either gonna stay indoors and watch netflix and, and play your games or you're going to be the person who's like, you know, freaked out, dude. I'm going to change. I'm going to be a better person for myself. And I'm going to I'm going to up my work. You know, like, I mean, that's kind of like what I did with the stream, dude. I was like, either I could stream video games or like stay up all night, play Fortnite or Oculus. Or I could I could start my YouTube channel that I've been talking about forever. I could start doing Twitch that I've been talking about forever. Right. Boom. Uh, yeah, Nicholas watching. You have to go. We want to see the clip. Watch it now, please. Okay. All right. Uh, can we watch your video real quick? Yeah. Okay. We'll watch your room, video. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We'll, we'll watch your video and then we'll, we'll get back to what we we're talking about here.
Hey, it's the song. That's <laughs> the song, bro. Alright, um, okay, wow, <laughs> no, okay, so, let me tell you first off, about a minute in or so, I had full on goosebumps, and I started to tear up, <laughs> so, okay. freaking well done with, uh, with the, uh, with the song choice, and the shot, the choice of your shots and everything, and, um, I love, the the beginning where it's just like silent and you have like the ambient noises it, right. it zeroes you in and it just draws you immediately like like you're there um yeah I, the reason i did that is you you notice they're all locked off shots i think everybody sleeps on everyone's always wanting like the slow-mo and stuff yeah i thought it was such a different kind of take to just start with like just it's locked good. off and it just immediately grabs your attention it it is at least that's kind of my style i like to think I yeah just... you uh yeah. you did a really good job with the audio i know that you were limited in in the way of like you had what you had right. you know obviously yeah, the audio you could have sound, sound great you know it, you it would have bounced it would have sound better if you had other equipment but you shot it with what right. you had and you did a good job with it at first i was going to be like oh no you can hardly hear the minister or blah 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 but you dialed back the music and you could hear. And it was actually during those moments too, listening to the minister that I got teary eyed. And then and then seeing the reception, I started like getting those feels too. And like the, the vibe that I got was just here's this couple celebrating an amazing occasion and they're not letting the mood of the world and things ruin their day. And and the and the family's day, and their ability to celebrate like that was the biggest thing that I got. The ending with the reception with the music was just fun, you know, being able to see see uh, the fun side of everything, everyone dancing, and then it's cool that you cut back to the bride and groom and stuff. And so, um, dude, that was freaking awesome. Brian Brian commented early on and he said, "Bro, just yeah, keep I doing saw that. this." <laughs> Thanks, so, Brian. I so it. I, dude, I would immediately just, or, or just tell your mom and dad, please, like, let me shoot you guys cooking something, and like set it up well. Like, I know you can creatively do something good like that, and and do something like that. And then, dude, imagine if you're making like one minute videos for little restaurants, dude, that were still open, taking takeout orders, and uh, yeah. the restaurants would be blown away. You know, things start opening back up. They're gonna hire you right back. You know what I mean? And right, dude, I would I would bank on that, man. So um, realistically, shoot. I'm I'm gonna do this like as soon as we're done here, I'm probably gonna go through Instagram and find some small businesses. Yeah, man. <laughs> and if this if that video isn't on Instagram yet, um, put that on your. If this video is on Instagram right. yet put it on there a a asap asap man like do what you can to get this video in front of people's eyes have you shared on facebook yes it's on facebook and, it's and, not on and, instagram yet i was waiting because i follow the, the bride followed me on instagram and i followed her back so i want to make oh, sure you're she waiting on her has it and she's like 
good with it. Did, did she like it? Did you get the, the yeah, she liked it. She, it was funny. She, um, that's, I like that. I like that final song. I thought it fit really well there, but she yeah. replied to me saying like, is there any way we could go with like a popular song right now? I'm like, yeah. um, if I want to get into legal trouble, we could, was she <laughs> but okay I, I kind of, was she sad? Yeah. I kind of explained to her, um, how I could get into some pretty le- bad legal trouble with that. And she's like, Oh yeah, I get it. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Okay. That's good. That, but, that's yeah, good. She, man, likes that she, it. she understood that. Cool. Um, yeah. Okay. Those people again, like, were so great. The fact that they were willing to pay me three hundred dollars for a video, I just told them, "Yeah, I promise I can do it." I had no work to show. You for freaking it. delivered, bro. Thank you. I'm glad. Uh, I I'm so bad with taking compliments, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Those B-roll cuts would would make for a good product video. Nice. Yeah, they got to steal for sure. Um, do you have like a gimbal or anything? I I know. Well, obviously, you would have used it if you had one, but. Yeah, that there's a couple things I did want to mention that I really hated about that video. One was the audio. Two was how shaky it was because the Lumix G7 has no in-body stabilization. The lenses I was shooting with had no stabilization. And no, I don't have a gimbal. Let me let me grab it real quick. Right here. This is what I shot the whole thing on. I had a Rode mic on top of it. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I like that. So I got a little cage so that it adds a little bit of weight to it. But this is it, pretty much what I shot. Especially the dance stuff. I had a mic on it on here as well. It's yeah, yeah. I remember but, you, um, t- you took a shot of it. Right. Yeah, like, I put it in the Discord. But yeah, I would. A gimbal is probably like the next thing I, I need to buy. Just like some. Well, I actually know which gimbal I want. It's like the Zion Crane. But the problem is that camera's so light mm-hmm. that a lot of gimbals don't support it. Like the okay. Ronin S does not support that camera what really yeah it's too light for it yeah the thing's a paperweight it's so light and if you dropped it it would probably get destroyed that oh, said man. i love that camera to death i only went through really one battery the entire wedding and i shot it all on one sd card so wow. yeah the ronin sc that one i i looked into there was something with it that didn't work well for me but there's one that does work for me. You shot that all on one battery. And how long was that? How long was that wedding? Um, well, I used two batteries, but I got down to one bar on the first one and then I switched it and then I got down to like two bars. But um, okay. how long was I there? I got there at like 2.30 and I left at like 9 p.m., 9.30 yeah. p.m. For you use. Was that oh, Premiere? Oh, I used Premiere. Yeah, I used Premiere. Like Premiere, nice. Yep. I like and a little bit of After Effects for noise reduction. That was the other thing I hated. When I watch this video, all I see are the things that I hate about it. and uh, Which That's is good. The, the noise. I hate how much noise there is and how grainy it is. Yeah. But you guys liked it, so I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, dude, okay. I s- I'm not kidding, bro. I had some tears going. And uh, <laughs> I...
it's not gonna i was shooting up to like i think it was like 3200 iso and it's a 400 dollars camera i mean what do you really expect yeah. from from shooting that high on the iso but i think it it was like usable i'm not yeah. too worried about they said they liked it and i don't think they're gonna nitpick it as much as i did but um no, I mean the lighting situation in the in the reception looked fine. You know, thank God they had all that lighting. You know, I mean I've, right. I've been in some receptions was like way darker than that. Um, right. I did have know, a light panel like this big. It was about this big of a light panel. I have it. Okay. okay. But I didn't want to like use it because it would be like really annoying. Distracting. So I didn't. Yeah, but you but know, in the future too, with that, you know, no worries. I mean, you're the you're the videographer. You need to put your tools out there, you know. True. And uh, true. If, there's a there's a second of awkwardness, but then it will go away. Um, because right. if you were in their shoes up. and you and you saw a videographer doing this thing, what would be your thought? It, it would just be of like, like, oh, you can stay out of his way yeah. or respect yeah, his work. Yeah, he's making he's a doing. video. <laughs> yeah, so. I guess you just gotta be confident in it, and people will be like, oh, okay people lean into it as well yeah they do they do they'll they'll see the light dude and then they'll go crazy with it you know what i mean like That's true. they'll see the yeah, light the and then they'll be like they fun. look like they're having fun. fun yeah it was really fun they were not social distancing but <laughs> I even had masks on. yeah yeah definitely definitely um yeah i was surprised i thought i thought there'd be like a limit on the amount of people drunk people having fun love dude that's what i dude that's what i love about doing weddings honestly is everyone is there to have a good time man and every wedding that you shoot it's just like a good celebration day the only thing as as the videographer or photographer you see the whole day so it's a little hectic in the beginning bridezillas might right. come out you know you know the bride will get on the groom for something but once like the ceremony's done and you roll into the reception then it's freaking yeah it gets an way awesome easier time. It's, it's so fun and you get to eat did you get to eat did you have cake no i didn't what <laughs> I, Wait, they did offered it and they they offered it to me like four times and i said yeah yeah i'll get to it but like you were so busy I busy that too, you did it i was too like because it was my first time ever doing that oh, so I was, okay, like, okay very high strung so i came home and i just like ate the entire <laughs> cupboard <laughs> dang dude next time you better make sure dude you, you, yeah you, uh, i should have but i didn't and put it in the contract you meet with your clients and say like you know, you don't have to say you feed me. Just say, um, um, just provided food. Yeah, and and just yeah, ask about that. But that's a, that's a huge right. thing, bro. Cause yeah, like, when you when you do those long weddings, it, it it's, yeah yeah yeah. Like the eat. bride and groom, they literally came up to me and like, did you get a chance to eat? And I was talking to her yesterday. And she's like, did you get a chance to eat and get cake? And I said, yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, I you didn't want to like recording the sound on your phone with it having in the front directly. Yeah, that's a that's a good thing too, man. Is is your phone? I mean, the iPhone quality microphones are so good, and you could have you could have popped that thing on a chair or something. I don't know. Yeah, what I used is I have this. That's right here. I have this like forty dollar. Oops, sorry, I just hit my mic. Recorder, and I plugged this like really cheap lapel microphone into it, and it was just like it sounded okay, but it was like really buzzy, and there was like a hiss in the background. Mm. So in Premiere, I had to like do some noise reduction, which is why it sounds so muddy. Yeah, but yeah. You did the best with, the, with what you could, and uh, yeah, it, it turned out okay. It turned out fine, and uh, it's good. Um, and then too, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure if you're a wedding videographer, you would have watched that and been like, you know, you missed this shot, this shot, blah blah blah. But the way I see it, I mean, you totally moved me with the video so that's that's the main thing and i'm sure the bride and groom also were like that but also at the same time now just think about the shots that you didn't put in there or that you, you missed or just things like that you know moving forward um and uh yeah it's it's gonna be good what's up meryl how you doing what's up stevie you guys just joining um we're just kind of coming on to the tail end of our
something. Yeah. Plus, plus, like, or, dude, he's he, his uh, YouTube channel is a huge resource, though. So that's how I came to his oh, channel. Oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. Anyways, uh, you work like, at Target. Oh, hey. Enjoy Target. Have fun. Yeah, get that camera money. Uh, John Beamer's asking, are you from Massachusetts? I think you're from Ohio. Come yeah, on. I'm from Ohio. He's from Ohio. Ohio. Um, but that's not too far away, right? John, John Beamer, he can he can always drive to where you're getting married and he can shoot your video, your wedding video. <laughs> Absolutely. If they're from this community, dude, I'll do it for a discounted rate. Oh, Valorant graphic designer. Yeah, he's says he's super talented, man. And I, I love his vibe. I love what he does. Super, super helpful to his community. Uh, it's a four hour drive to the eastern border for me. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, awesome, dude. Connor, thank you so much for jumping in, dude. Yeah, of course. This is pretty um, fun. I was looking forward to this. Inspirational for sure. And I mean, I didn't have the full on roadmap of where we were going. But I had a, I had my usual questions and stuff, but from what we gathered and I think from the reception of the chat, like today, this was good. Yeah, this is good. And uh, I'm oh, yeah. excited to see the updates, Connor. I'm excited to see how you, uh, see you improve and everything. So, yeah. And I just want to say, like, what you got going on here, this is like, this is pretty special, I think, <laughs> just to have a whole group that's like it it's not like huge right so it kind of feels tight knit like everyone kind of knows each other yeah and i feel like that's pretty special because i don't think anyone does something like this on twitch or anything hey. like that so this is awesome. i appreciate I, that I, man I, I love this community it's pretty sweet sick dude. I, dude, dude that's good that's awesome to hear you know i will tell everyone this okay like i'm not a photographer who knows the big names in the industry so if you're expecting joe rogan type podcast you guys got to go follow michelle hunter she's she's uh, uh she's like she won i think photographer of the year in australia she's another twitch streamer and uh she's touring right now with a with a um a musician who's like super big so she knows the names in the industry <laughs> but what i'm interested in is community and like meeting people like you who's out there man like grinding and doing your thing people who uh you know we don't have it made we're making it happen for ourselves and to right. hear your story and if we can help in any way from our own experiences that's what we're about man and if i can help you guys you guys inspire me the most and uh you know who knows man what's gonna happen in the future you could be the next you could be the next image photographer on youtube dropping channel dropping videos and you're gonna be inspiring the next connor j at 11 years old to be a videographer you know true. so uh absolutely that's true. that's that's why we do this man the light down academy man we're we're in our places of work our offices and no one sees our struggle and our ups and downs bro but uh we're here and we're working it out so um not to take away from the spotlight from connor but while we're on the video subject can you watch one of my videos so i can get some pointers yeah uh nick you can do that connor can you tell nick how see. you uh how you did it who you messaged in discord and how all that went down oh like where i put it in the discord yeah um i i just added one of the mods and they said just drop it in your photos so just yeah put it in there so I'll take a look um at it well. so nick i know i know we can game. yeah we can do it on chat or whatever but I'm a forgetful person. My wife can attest to that. So um, right here, <laughs> right here in the uh, mod section, we've got uh, this mod portfolio review. Just message this mod with the link, drop the link to your video or whatever, and then kind of like state a purpose of like what you're hoping to achieve. Um, because we're not on here to really just to watch and uh, to watch and eat snacks and have a good laugh you know like we're here to like uh review so just give me a blurb of like what you're hoping to achieve with your review like how it's gonna affect you i mean if you have a problem with your video if you have a problem with something if you're like needing feedback on a specific thing just put that in the message there and so um yeah connor you did that a while back and uh i 
apologize for uh, having not been aware of that, but oh, we're definitely cool. going to be on it because as our channel grows, um, I know S Cecil does this, right? He's got he's got a whole list of people that he's got uh, on cue to review and stuff like that. So the cool thing is, is right. yeah, we are a tight knit community that we can get to know everybody in a personable way like this and stuff. So, but I feel like as we grow, having these mods to be able to, uh, you know, see who came first and then go the list from there, it will work out. So, bro, yeah. awesome. So I'm, uh, I mean, I might clip this whole thing and put it in the Discord, at least in case you wanted to watch over or like if anyone else can watch over it.